Hey, what's up, everybody? We are on the United States Mint 2023 product schedule. And the reason for this video today is because I find a few things very unique. And I'm not sure if we are ever going to see this again from the United States Mint. Now, none of these reasons is probably a reason to buy anything. I will leave that 100% up to you. But this is related to Maria Tulchief. And she is on not only one United States Mint coin in 2023, but she is on two United States Mint coins in 2023. And she's also going to have multiple coins in multiple sets. And we're going to get to that also in this video. Maria Tallchief was a Native American ballerina. She was the first ballerina to be given the title Prima ballerina now a little bit more about the coins in just a few moments first we're going to go over to this page which is the kennedy center now i have to give a shout out to nick's coins because if it wasn't for nick's coins i may not even know this information here but maria tall chief danced for not only one united states president but two united states presidents and this here is the video of her performance and i will put a link in the description below if you want to check this out but it says ballerina maria tall chief performed for president john f kennedy but not just john f kennedy it says maria tall chief performed for president john f kennedy and dwight d eisenhower during an American pageant of the arts. On November 29, 1962, the purpose of the event was to raise funds for the National Culture Center begun under Eisenhower's administration and encouraged under Kennedy's. Two months after President Kennedy's assassination, Congress passed and President Johnson signed into law legislation renaming the National Culture Center as the Living Memorial to John F. Kennedy. Maria Tallchief was considered America's first major prima ballerina. She was the first Native American to hold that rank, and she has said to have revolutionized ballet. When George Balanchine co-founded what would become the New York City Ballet in 1946, Tallchief became the company's first star. The combination of Balanchine's difficult choreography and Tallchief's passionate dancing changed the world of dance. She served as director of the ballet for the Lyric Opera of Chicago for most of the 1970s and debuted the Chicago City's Ballet in 1981. Tall Chief was honored by the people of Oklahoma with multiple statues and an honorific day she was inducted in the National Women's Hall of Fame and received a National Medal of Arts. In 1996, Tall Chief received a Kennedy Center Honor for Lifetime Achievements. So really cool. I'll put a link to this in my description box below if you want to look more into this. But let's head back over to the United States Mint website because Maria Tallchief is not only going to be on the Native American dollar in the rolls, bags, and boxes, but she is also going to be on the fifth release of the American Women Quarters in the fall of 2023 and i find this even more fascinating because i'm not sure if there's ever going to be another time when one person is going to be on two different coins on the same year at the united states mint but not only is she going to be on two different coins but those two coins are going to be in multiple sets at the same time so here in the silver proof set you will have the clad proof Maria Tallchief, Native American dollar, as well as she's also going to be on the silver proof quarter. Then in the proof set, the clad proof set, she's going to be on the clad proof quarter as well as the same clad proof dollar. Then in the uncirculated set for 2023, she's going to be on the Native American dollar as well as the clad women's quarter in that set as well. So I do find it very unique fascinating and interesting that she is going to be on all of this stuff in the same year two different coins multiple sets two coins in multiple sets with her likeness on them and i find that very very interesting 
Now, I don't think I'm going to be buying anything she's on except for the American Women Quarters PD&S set. But let me know in the comment section below, are you going to be purchasing anything that Maria Top Chief is on? Are you going to be purchasing the PD&S Quarters or maybe some other rolls and bags? Or are you going to be purchasing the Native American coins, dollar coins, on February the 6th? 2023. I'm sure everybody watching this video is already aware of the American Women Quarters and the PD&S sets, but if you're not, the PD&S sets have been sold out on subscription or at least at Remind Me Now for a few weeks. But a little bit about the Native American dollars. The Native American dollars are coming in rolls, bags, and boxes, so the options are going to be there is product limits, but there is no mintage limit. They will come in 25 coin rolls for Philadelphia and Denver. Those are $34.50. They will come in 100 coin bags for Philadelphia and Denver. Those are $117.50 a piece. And then 250 coin boxes, Philadelphia and Denver. And those are $289.50. 75 cents now i don't believe i'm going to be purchasing any of these but it looks like that they all do have product limits but no mintage limit the product limit of these coins for the philadelphia and denver for the rolls is fourteen thousand. and then if we go back and look at the bags so here is the 100 coin bag and the product limit of this is going to be 1700 so 1700 on the bags for the product limit again there is no mintage limit and then the 250 coin box the product limit is 1710 so 1710 and there is a household order limit of 10 and i believe everything else had a household order limit of 10 to let me verify household order limit for the rolls is 10 and the household order limit probably of the bags is also 10 as well but let's go ahead and verify it is yeah 10 so everything has a household order limit of 10 and then they all have product limits but there is no mintage limit and the only way to get this coin, I do believe, is in these sets because this coin is a circulating coin. So it's going to be a circulating finish. And I don't think there's going to be any circulating finishes that's going to be in any sets because all the sets that this coin is going to be in is going to be proof. So proof and uncirculated. So this one here is going to have a uncirculated finish. And then she's going to be in two proof sets. But the only way to get this coin, this dollar coin, with the circulating finish is going to be in these rolls and bags. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I appreciate everybody for watching. Smash the thumbs up button on the video, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.